Hi, I'm Sam Fokart, and this is my CS4250 Homework 3, um, Solar System Exploration. So here's my program. Um, you start out, and there's a cube and a sphere and a cone and a cylinder there close to me. That's all for debugging, but you can use normal WASD to control the spaceship around the solar system. There's a ton of planets and there's a ton of asteroids. Um, you can push the space bar to tilt up and you can push S to tilt down. S tilts down instead of going backwards. And all of the asteroids in, they spawn in with random positions and random velocities so that's why this one was able to spawn in with zero velocity um, but most of them don't and it's also perspective um, camera because you can see that the closer I get to the planet the bigger it gets Oh, and also, friendly spaceships can spawn in, too. Um, but there's no AI, there's no fighting or anything. And this is it. So, I learned during this project about OpenGL, I learned the GL buffer subdata, which is what I used to um, have all the points and all of the normals in different um, attributes on the vertex shader. I also learned about vertex shaders and lighting because this uses one. I didn't modify the stock um, vertex shader at all, but I did learn how to use one with lighting. And I learned about um, how to just um, use the buffer position. This is one thing. The storing a different buffer position for each object was very confusing to me at the beginning. Um, and this is the buffer position for the um, GL draw arrays. Each object has a different buffer position. And that was hard for me to learn at first. But once I got that working, I was able to store in any type of object. I can close and reopen the program. So I can have a cube a sphere, a cone, and a cylinder right now. And all the asteroids are actually just spheres, but they've only been subdivided once. And they also, all the planets and all of the asteroids have random um, scaling transformation matrices. That's why they all look a little different. This one's a little squished more than some of the other ones. Some of them are more just plain. Again, here's here's one that doesn't seem to be moving at all. Well, actually, maybe it's just moving really slow. Um, one of the problems I ran into with the program was making the movement of the spaceship less jittery. It's very jittery right now because unlike the asteroids, when the asteroids move, they all um, have a velocity and then it uses um, not completely Euler's method, but almost Euler's method to, um, it integrates the, I need to find my sphere class. I just integrate the velocity and divide it by a thousand to um, get the smooth motion on the 
asteroids, and then I tried to do that for the spaceship itself, but I ran into weird issues with C++ and the handling of the abstract classes, and for some reason it just wouldn't, I couldn't pass the values through to the function in the way I wanted to. They would always pass through the function as zero. And so I'm sure it would have worked if they would have been able to pass through the function, but I wasn't able to get the camera to nicely track the spaceship. Um, and I think it's because the way I have the spaceship in a list, all of the objects are pointers to their base class. And because the way I was storing all of them as ob pointers to the base class, um, it didn't like that. And so all when I would call the update function for the spaceship, they would all get passed in as zeros, or the elapsed time would be passed in as zero. I think that's what happened. And then the camera wasn't able to track the spaceship. So the spaceship kind of jitters because it just uses a constant. Um, every time you push the key, it just increments by 15 degrees or moves forward um, however far. And that's it. That's all my program is.